There may come a day when I don't feel like doing one of these, but it's not today. Oh, hey guys, name's Finn. Wow, I haven't said that in a while. Hey guys, name's Finn. Mm. It's oddly familiar, and yet... Never mind, let's just play. Okay, so the beautiful village is gorgeous, darling. Hello? Oh. Show yourself. Oh, hello. Mm. So... Must have uh, been imagining things. I don't quite remember how you do that, how you do that, guy. Uh, excuse me for just one second. Oh, that's better. Okay, so... Beautiful village. I don't know what else to say. I thought I was gonna have something spectacular to say here, but no, I guess not. I just, I don't think I've ever... Maybe one of Sensei's missions maybe did this? But this is just really striking. There's great big gorge in the ground. <laughs> Brick joke, I said it was gorgeous, right? That's totally intentional. It wasn't, but you know what? <laughs> Zero out of ten. But you know what? As someone who's been writing them rap rhymes for, uh, for many, many a year now, I find that I often, um, how do I get into town? Like, I, I snuck in there through some crazy-ass way before, and I can't ever find it now. This is... Also, how did I escape this dude's attention for real? I have, uh, I've found that these days I often make a multisyllabic rhyme or an internal rhyme that I didn't even intend to make. Like, I'm only just focused on what flows, and oftentimes I just... I write a rhyme that... just rhymes crazily internally with some other line, and I didn't even realize it, because it's just so intuitive to me. Like, oh, that sounds like <laughs> bragging. It's not, it's just... I'm, uh... Something's wrong with the audio, I'm... <laughs> My audio levels are weirdly... wrong. Ugh, whatever. You know what else is weirdly wrong? Jumping off a cliff just to get some secret. As you see! And sometimes I even have a line that rhymes polysyllabically with something, whether it's like a, uh, a version with swears in it or a lame clean version that I have to do at family friendly events. <laughs> it's like one time, just recently I wrote a rhyme where I have two different rhymes in my verse that are close to this line, and one of them rhymes with talk shit and get murderified, and the other rhymes with talk crap and get murderified. Like, no matter which one I use, it rhymes, <laughs> it rhymes perfectly with another sentence. Anyways, great. Hey, this is a ledge, so now you know it. Uh, it's got one thing, and we don't even get a secret, because secrets aren't officially in Thief Gold, but somebody made a script for making it go ding. Or someone says glum glum, or whatever you want to call it. Don't be glum. So this, yeah, that's actually where you came from. But there's another path that looks similar, and I guess someone was complaining about how it's not necessarily obvious. Where to go? That's, that's strange, because going that way, you'll get bust head for sure. Whereas, uh, going up here is what I did on my first playthrough, and it seemed to have worked, so I guess I'll just carry on over here, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by stupid technical problems, so yeah, 1440p, um, I'm not gonna encode this, and uh, yeah, this is the way out, so you can't do nothing. Because the objective is meet Wendelin and find out what she knows. So, uh, who knows? Maybe we don't even need to go out there. Maybe she's gonna kill us. Because a thief's life is full of betrayal. You reap what you sow. You know what? My footsteps are quiet sometimes. What is wrong with these audio levels? Whatever. You know what's a good metal album? Halford's Crucible. Uh, it's sort of... It's got your obligatory two or three metal single Halford sound and songs, betrayal, and, uh... One Will and all that, but it's also got a lot of much more personal sounding songs that I find really interesting. Uh, Crystal, Golgotha, I don't know, uh, and, and I like it. 
I don't know how popular it is, but I'm just saying I like it. So if you're into that, then I got hid. Yeah, I was out. <laughs> I was out today doing some grocery shopping and I thought of all these cool stuff I was going to say and I forgot literally all of it so <laughs> Stephen Russell's great as the relatively straight face Ed Garrett but he's even greater when he's being over the top So yeah, like I say, this mission could easily stand on its own, even though there's a whole other mission after it. Eating people is wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're trying to teach the undead something there, uh, Bucko? I'm harmless. Leave me alone. Okay. Wow, I'm sure glad I left that guy alone. I mean, who knows what he might have done to me. He might have called the police. He might have called the FBI. He might have called the CIA. That's a chip in the Amiga. But seriously, what am I doing? Yeah, so, so, oh, like, what, seriously? Calm down, Fan, and think. Why, oh, why did you take everything that was my... Oh, sorry. I was supposed to be thinking. <laughs> Got distracted having fun instead. Uh, oh yeah, and one thing I forgot to say about this mission is that there's some things you can frob that uh, don't do anything. How do you use Burks to find edible mushroom? The mushroom in religious art. Yeah, this guy's into his mushrooms, I suppose. Uh, where do I want to dump this dude? Uh, th yeah, this guy's just funny. Why don't you just listen to him yammer instead of me? And there's his Burke. Go get him. So, I was making a joke there, but then I realized the joke requires visuals to work, so I stopped making it and cut. Hope you like it. Huh? <laughs> nothing happened, though, so it's perfectly fine. Guess it was nothing. Nobody got hurt except for 10,000 people, so it's perfectly fine. I've seen maybe like three Doctor Who episodes ever. Well, uh, I've seen Blink, which everyone has seen. I mean, obviously, fantastic episode. I've seen... The one where he goes like, oh, this library has all the books. Uh, classic number one, classic number two, Monty Python's Big Red Book. So, so this isn't like a real in-game store then, it's just a sort of fake. Also, it's called a speed potion. So, there's this idea that uh, we had when we were kids. Where there'd be this fake walkthrough of Zelda 1 where we'd just call everything blatantly wrong things and give you blatantly wrong advice but play it completely straight and just like annoyingly call enemies by names that they're not called at all. No one has ever called them like as if that's what their name is. And I don't know, it's, it sounded hilarious. It'd be like calling whiz robes it's curtains for you. Like kill the it's curtains for you. It, it's, it's way funnier than it sounds, I swear, man. But I think that this basement is a connector to some place and I... I'm thinking there's a switch, and this thing might move. Pretty darn sure, actually, but I might have to get it from the other side. Oh, this is the greatest, right? When you're just watching me hunt around for a switch that may or may not even be here. Oh, it's my sound that I make when I see Alpiers doing that. I'm telling you, bro. Unless this is it. Nope, and it doesn't even function. See, I'm 100% sure this freaking thing moves, but I don't know where the switch is. So, oh, it's here. <laughs> Not two seconds later. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. And I don't think there's anything behind there. I don't think there's, like, a double secret, but... Uh, I don't think... I think I tried to come around. Oh, what? It's just back here again? Oh. 
You know what? I'm yeah. I'm just gonna go around. Like I'm almost certain there's nothing, but I gotta try because there could be some crazy secret going on. So you do go in here again, and then you close it again from this side. Yeah, there's there, there can't be surely. I mean, it would be awesome, but maybe too awesome to be handled. Yeah, that would have been cool though. That would have been a cyanish puzzle, and cyan is great. So uh, they're making firmament, and if I want to play it properly, even in non-VR, I'm gonna have to get a system upgrade because it's about time for me to upgrade my computer. Oh, now I latched onto something. Uh, sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes it takes a long, slow while. Yeah, well, it's just a valuable book. I don't know, a religious tome. Very valuable religion, very popular. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. See, see, there's some things that you frob that were meant to have a message, but they don't because of time limitations. So it's not a bug. Nest. Well, it's a time limitation. It's not strictly a bug, sort of. But you know. So, so that happens. So that's a criticism you could give. But again, it's just time. So, oh, computers and other things. Blood so and coal. Is this the bank? Looks different. Who's there? Oh yeah, no. this is the bank. And the funny thing about this is <laughs> that uh, in my first playthrough, I couldn't figure out how to get some sort of objective, and it was just blatantly in here. But I just forgot to explore it fully or something. So it's pretty great. Also, okay, this is tiles. Occasionally missions use textures that look like tile, but aren't like... Maybe some people think this looks like carpet, because I guess it could... Uh... But yes, I'm still rocking my 2012, circa 2012, um... 3770K... With 8 gigs of DDR3! Your mom can help you hook it up! And so on. And a GTX 670! Graphics card! <laughs> Cause, you know, I like to keep my computers forever. But, recently I'm like, you know what, it's about time for me to think about upgrading, and I'm liking them new Ryzen's, and so I might, I might do that. Thought I saw something. something. Oh, yeah. You always do that sometimes, and you just gotta go like this. Hello? And it still doesn't work. Hello? Well. Nothing there now. So I guess I thought that would be a more interesting thing to say <clears throat> than it really was. But, uh, yeah, so, oh yeah, so then I could render better videos, I could do like 60 FPS or 1440 or something, but, you know what, like, I don't know if this is the case or if this was ever the case, but I heard back when 60 FPS was first a thing on YouTube, that someone was saying maybe the quality would be less because they would have to use more bandwidth for it, so in exchange for a higher frame rate you'd get even worse video quality. I don't know if that was ever the case, or if it is now, but that's kind of like a ridiculous thing if that is the case, so... I don't know about that, but, you know, 30 is okay to me. I don't really notice a difference, mostly, really, to be perfectly honest. Or maybe I'm just, like, more focused on the content and I just don't notice. I don't know, but a quality bump might be an okay thing. Because I just, uh, fixed the code of AutoVid so that it works end to end again, although I'm gonna have to fix the code again because now Ceph Sharp has been updated to some stupid new version that doesn't let you have a different cookies folder. Hey, whatever. This is the tech episode. And this door looks extremely normal thiefy. So, okay, so I must get a key for that one because I don't think I can pick it. And these, some of them you just can't open. I'm pretty sure some of them just can never be opened at all, because you get a key for at least one, maybe two of these. But the rest... What is up with this? Maybe I just should get closer to that safe. Oh, yeah. Most of them, I guess, can't be opened. So, horror. Um... Boy, I just... I'm... I don't know what's my problem today. Someone I just there? Who is that? I just been out riding and my mate told me not to call people mater anymore. Because like Alma Mater. 
It sounds like your mother. And, and it's like your school is not your mother, dude. I mean, you might like your mother and you might like your school if you're insane. No, I'm gonna stop doing that because school... I don't know. Higher education is probably a lot different than non-higher educations. Oh, so I guess maybe something. Maybe you can't. Understand. I don't know. But uh, but but yeah. So school is probably okay. I don't know. I like being self-taught because some people, some people, like I say, with programming, they look like they've been indoctrinated into a cult by going to school to learn about computer science. Just saying, like, oh. This is procedural, so it's bad, even though I just explained why it's simple and elegant and easy to read and fast and good. And so, yeah, but, uh, whatever. I have to remember to leave a key to the tunnel gate for the miller. We have a nice arrangement going. He gets a chunk of the profits for using the mill as a cover for transferring goods in and out of town, and I get to the use of the old mine tunnels to move goods unseen. The mine has been abandoned for years now, and few even remember it. How convenient the tunnels connect to his basement. I really have to do something about Lash. He's not just trying to muscle in on me, he wants the whole town. Probably thinks he'll be mayor or some such. <laughs> the townsfolk here aren't used to men like Lash. The village guard are brave enough, especially Dugal. But Dugal. But they aren't prepared to handle the manpower he's likely to bring into town. And even with my own men, there aren't enough of us. Though Kyvers does have that spider. Who ever heard of a pet spider, especially one that size? Still, extra security for me. I think it's time I brought in Garrett. Oh, is this her? She talks like this, according to me now. Cannon. Uh, he's my best chance of getting Lash off my back, and I think I have just the thing to pique his interest. Nice of that fop to get drunk and brag about the artifact. Just got a shipment of spice from Petra. He's staying at the Blackwell, as usual. He does like his creature comforts. I've already moved half the product. Maybe I should double my order next time. I expected Garrett by now. I sent that letter weeks ago. I guess he'll show up in his own good time, as he always does. I just hope it's soon enough. So, Pukey, you must now voice act the character like that, or it's not canon. I th is it? I think it's Pukey that... Pukey Bunster, the author of the mission, one of the authors, who voices, uh... So it must just be this one, like one of these two. Maybe I'm just missing a key for one of them, but I'm pretty sure only one of them can be open. But hey, what do I know? Uh oh I'm pretty sure she voices what's-her-face there, Gwendolyn, Wendelin, uh... Who's allergic to cheese, and therefore we can't have any continuity. Ooh. Ah, good. Good thing I came back. So yeah, you have to voice actor, act her like that, in this sort of voice. Or the mission is no good no more. K? K. Oh yeah, the key is just right here. I thought it was somewhere else, so maybe... Oh, maybe I'm just crazy. Whatever. Let's... You know, it's a small bank. It's This is the quaintest bank I've ever seen, and it's actually kind of endearing. I like this. Ooh. So, yeah, I missed something or other in the bank. Actually, I don't even remember what it was, come to think of it. Perkins make sure that only one client is allowed in the safety deposit room at a time. They expect the privacy, not to mention the security concerns. Lash. Can you keep your spurs from jingling and jangling? No, I'm an addict. Oh, well. There's gonna be some unfortunate stuff. You get egged, you get egged, you get egged. Now you're an eggdict. Eggs Benedict. That's where it comes from. You're addicted to eggs, you're an eggdict, or eggs Benedict. It's like a... It's like one of those words that gets shortened over time, but it gets longened over time for some inexplicable reason. So! Because I cut out the silly joke... I guess I'll go for a little bit longer, although the silly joke was not very long in any way, shape, or form, but... I do want to do it one day, it's just, you know, it requires visuals, and so... You take a left at the sewer and right your right 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 end! Yes, yes! Well, he's better than I, but still... I'm getting better at, like, hitting notes these days, it's the hardest part of singing, like... Sounding strong in the voice is also a challenge, but not as hard. There's nothing in because this guy's crazy! He keeps empty lock boxes and locks them! <laughs> yeah. Also, he doesn't even do anything if you alert. He's just this crazy guy. <laughs> it's awesome, right? It's nice sense of humor in addition to the mission being good for serious. 
hurt me. Please. No, I love your singing. I, like, seriously, I was just listening to this guy all day long when I played this. I'm like, oh. You know, you want to look around in this dude's house for a minute. You ought to take a left. Yes, you're in. You're in. Yes, you're in. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there's this weird poster to have. Isn't this like a texture for a guy? Like, isn't that a mask for an AI? That's just because textures for for like creatures and stuff. <laughs> Genius, best part of Thief Gold, hands down. Okay, uh, so what was I saying? He's crazy. He's got a. Oh, yeah. Skins for humans? Like, they look perfectly normal. Okay, dude, shut up now. They look perfectly normal when they're on a guy, but the textures look freakish. Is this an ice? Actual ice. Uh, yeah. No. Well, I'll beat you now, though. Oh, you can. I guess I just didn't knock him out. On my playthrough, because he was just so entertaining, but... Hope he doesn't die in there. Nah, the game ain't smart enough for that. But, uh, yeah, the textures look freakish, because they have to be wrapped all around in a certain way, so when you look at them flat, it looks, like, downright terrifying, kind of. It's like some hideous monster. So, so that's why I'm thinking that kind of looks like that, but I could be wrong. It's all vanilla, after all, but creative use is not forbidden. No, it is encouraged, or at least allowed. I don't know, but this guy, he doesn't even have anything really to do with the plot, I don't even think. Or, or not anything important. He's just here and he doesn't have any treasure. Is he crazy? Hmm. That Taffin Miller, the old gypsy woman, said the magic beans would grow a beanstalk high as the clouds. Now I've no time to tend a garden, so I stuck them in the miller's patch. He's always fussing over them plants of his. This guy doesn't talk like he talks, but okay. But afore the stock could get higher than that Teffin Scarecrow, he'd pick down the beans and cut her down. <laughs> and then that goose, the old gypsy woman said it laid golden eggs. Imagine, I kept that goose for months, but nary a single gold egg did I see. Twas the miller, I know it. He must have snuck in the coop and swapped the gold eggs for real ones. Don't know how he managed it, but he's a crafty one. And how else could he be so well off? Not from Millen, that's for sure. <laughs> the old gypsy woman said that if I buried a deer carcass in the forest each dark of the moon, the forest would soon be full of deer and I'd have no end of fresh meat. And the best part is I get to keep the legs to sell. <laughs> so a crazy person sounds. That is how a crazy person sounds. Thank you. Uh, oh, I thought that was actually a hole in his bath. Like, uh... Yeah. Oh, I guess I was talking about Doctor Who, like, episodes I've seen, and, uh, I've seen one where he talks about a book in a library, and then I saw some episodes of the new controversial series with What's-Her-Face in the role, Jodie Whittaker, and I guess I kind of liked it, but then some people, like, fans were like, this is the worst thing ever, so I'm like, well, I don't know, I have no point of comparison, I thought it was mostly good, but then I kind of stopped watching because one episode was like, Eh, and I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to watch some more Steven Universe. That's the comedy sniff. It's always funny, so if you want to be funny, just do it. If you say a sentence that isn't funny, just put the comedy sniff at the end, and it will be funny. See? Works perfectly. Also, you can do it less annoyingly, like, you know, uh, I got it from Fry and Laurie, because... Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie are good comedians. They are funny and therefore good. And by good, I mean that they're funny and that they're procedural. <laughs> I'm a procedural dogmatist. No, like, well, yeah, maybe. I don't know. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying, yeah. And this one guy claimed there's 10,000 reasons why Oop is better than procedural, but neglected to Hello. enumerate a single one of them. Blah, blah, blah. Also, people say procedural. Sometimes people say, like, talk about procedural and imply that it's... That it means your code is a big blob that isn't organized? I'm like, what on earth are you talking about? You organize procedural code the same as you organize any code. You split it off into areas that make sense and all that junk. Why did nobody know this when they get taught shit in school? See, this is why I'm self-taught. Also, I don't actually know if you get taught that in school. But, I'm just assuming you do because I still haven't gotten over 
doing that. Oh, what? Ugh. Okay, so did I check up here thoroughly or only cursorily? I don't know. I guess I did check thoroughly. Well, I like this guy, so... Yeah, it's a bank, but it's just kind of like a bunch of people's names. So this town is a little sort of, well, I don't want to say confusing, but there's like a lot of ways to go to navigate, and then some of them are guarded. This is the town square, and I really just like the design. It's just the little things, the memorable things. I mean, you don't have to be all bombastic and, and stuff to be memorable. It's just the, the design, the little dip there, and the little, the big thing there, and just the pillar on the balcony. I don't know. It's good design. Larp. <laughs> <laughs> now, unit testing is something I haven't tried that much because much like the uh, three-layer architecture MVC or MVP in WinForms or MVVM or whatever. Oh, hey, I don't even have a thing. I found it difficult to get my head around without having a practical example, but I understand it now. It's actually way simpler than I thought. But, uh... It's weird, Did you say hey. something? because I have actually heard from different people that no, was oop nothing, I guess. <clears throat> makes it easier or even possible to test, and I've heard from other people saying oop makes it super hard to test, and I'm like, Did what? Did I just see what I think I saw? So, I, I, don't, I don't have enough experience to be able to say who's right, but something fishy is going on there anyway. Um... Because sometimes I'm like so obsessed with not being fundamentalist that I get really fundamentalist about the opposite of the thing that I'm like, you know what I mean? So I, I just have to watch out for. Uh, but I'm really interested in performance coding. Angel Loader, I, I spent uh, the recent like month or so just... Oh, I feel like I shouldn't knock too many people out. I don't know. You're not Wendelin, are you? Nah. I know you're not already, so I don't know why I asked that. Just my mouth sometimes runs off without me and I have to slap it back on my face. Oh, hey, it's a miniature body dump. Cute! That's what I have to say about that. So, uh... I spent it, like, improving the startup time because the startup time for WinForms apps can get really long because really dumb things are done <laughs> with WinForms. There's this one, there's this one thing that WinForms does well, I don't know if this is WinForm specific, but when you make a new form, it it has to it wants to go and look for a config file so it can look for certain options like whether you have DPI uh, scaling on or not, which is fine. But the the way it gets at the options is it instantiates this config manager, which takes I kid you not thirty two milliseconds. That's two frames of full screen, twelve hundred p game rendering, which is probably passing gigabytes through memory, or you could spend the same amount of time to initialize a config reader that doesn't even do anything. Now, I know 32 milliseconds doesn't sound like a lot, but you take a, f you take a few 32 milliseconds and chop them down and you're really starting to make a dent. And, uh, you know, obviously go for the low-hanging fruit first, certainly. Get the big time savings first, but, you know, the startup time with that, it's just... It's stupid because there is no config file. Well, there is, but it's empty, so it doesn't ever actually end up reading anything anyway. It just uses default values in the end, but it takes 32 milliseconds to basically do nothing and just use default values. So I threaded that so it runs at the same time as other code, and I just took a whole bunch of stuff, and I even WinForms the designer. It generates a bunch of code in the code behind, and it, it generates it in the most sort of safe way possible. So it sets a whole bunch of values that don't need to be set because they're already at the defaults. And it sets a bunch of values that you probably don't need except in specific circumstances. And it does a bunch of slow crap. So I have an entire custom path that initializes all the controls myself manually so it can be fast. And blah, blah, blah. Because I'm interested Someone in there? perf. And, you know... That's not always appropriate, though. Like, sometimes performance is just not your bottleneck, and it really just doesn't matter. You know, like, if you have something that happens one time when the user clicks a button, and they don't click the button very often, then it probably doesn't matter if it's one microsecond or 
80 milliseconds even, it probably wouldn't even really matter that much. So sometimes performance doesn't need to be squeezed uh, until it bleeds. But I just like to. I like to. I just love... Lucy. And also, uh... Hmm. And also, uh... Yeah, so you can talk to Wendelin and it doesn't end the mission or nothing, so you can still explore around, so I guess I'll just do that. But yeah, and I, I just, I don't know, I want to show off my code. I'm not sure how exciting that would be, but I guess I never cared about how exciting anything is before, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, and I want to show off the scanner just to show, like, how cool and accurate it is and, like, bloast that's, that's gloating and boasting about how, uh... How it can pull really weird things like the Deceptive Perception 2 title, which is really, really, really difficult to detect the title from because it's put all weirdly, but I can do it anyways. So. so yeah, let's end the video by talking to uh, Miss Spice Seller now. If I don't know if Spice is supposed to be like marijuana is everywhere, where did you grow up? Or... Wow, I'm, I'm sort of messing up my syllables a lot, but I remember I used to do that all the time in videos anyway, and as long as I don't do it in rap, you know, uh, Forget I'm getting as always coming, you motherfuckers couldn't recognize- Pfft. Oh my god, I'm doing it rap. Forget I'm getting as always coming, you motherfuckers couldn't recognize a person if I punch in your stomach. Loving the stuff in a couple of but this is a club and you munch in a bucket as I look at the puddle like two in his guts, two in the studs. Yeah, okay, I'm good, I'm good. I just forgot the clean and the dirty lyrics. Good, uh, I'm not appropriate for advertisers, oh, and I can't steal from my friend's bar. Anyways, enough of me babbling. Get with the thumbs down if you're a stranger. Here we go. You took your sweet time getting here, Taffer. Hey, Wend. Running the town yet? It's good to see you, Garrett. I hear Basso's making quite a name for himself as a safecracker out in the city. Too bad about Cuddy, though. Yeah, I should tell you about that later. Hey, listen, I don't think we should talk here. I have a room for you upstairs. Why don't you go drop off your gear, then meet me in my office. It's downstairs in the basement. All right. Right, so, drop off my gear, drop my stuff, drop my stuff, mm, drop my stuff, drop, ooh, where could I drop my stuff, oh, hey, I know, drop my stuff, no, wait, of course, I want to drop the stuff, not me, <sighs> No, wait! Not as funny as the time I dumped that kid in the lava in <laughs> Godbreaker, but hey. Uh, so maybe I can rob other people's rooms, Abano. Oh. Dear Janelle, I've arrived at a little village outside Witchwood Forest. The scenery has been breathtaking, but the trek through the forest was unsettling. Such an eerie and unnerving place. I admit I was relieved to finally see the lights of the village through the gloom of the trees. I had a most unusual encounter with the inhabitants of the local mill. As I passed, I was accosted by two burly men who questioned me about my movements and reason for vi visiting the village. Welcome to the U.S. border. I told them it was none of their business, and one of them asked actually had the nerve to lay his hand upon me. It was all I could do to get free and flee to the village. At least I was able to find a room at a charming little tavern. I hope this letter finds you well, Flannin. Don't know if that's a guy or a girl. Still can't tell. Ah, oh, well. Oops. I gotta mark my territory by leaving chests open. You know, because I am a dog as I have previously enunciated. And elucidated. I have cause to be lucid. Cause, uh... Have y'all, any y'all ever had a lucid dream that is a dream where you're aware that you're dreaming? They're it's the most amazing things ever. First time it happened, I like, did these techniques to make it happen. And I finally got it to happen. And it was not even anything special. It was just literally me looking through one of those chain link fences at like a sports field in a school and there wasn't even anybody on it. But I just moved my hand up in front of my face and suddenly I was loose and I'm like, oh my god. This is like real but more! And I just stood there gaping for like 15 seconds and then it stopped being lucid because that happens if you get too excited. But anyways, it's great. Uh, yeah. But, uh... It would sure be not great 
if you then decided that since you knew you were in a dream, you went and murdered somebody, like, I don't know, I'm just saying, that might be a disturbing thing. Like, I've never done that, but I'm just saying that might be a disturbing thing. I can scarce believe it. Tis beyond understanding that I, Cranston Schimmel, should be sent to such a remote posting when anyone with one eye and half a brain can see that I am above such a lowly station. I am destined to live in the city and serve at the highest levels of the order. And as if twas not enough to shuffle me off to the backwoods, I arrive to find that my lodgings are to be in a cramped, drafty bell tower. The noise when the bell rings could shatter one's bones, and those lights, I could not stay another night in that place. So I guess I said I'd end it after I talked to What's-Her-Face over there. I just like saying What's-Her-Face, you know, it's a Homestar Runner reference. Cheerleader, so-and-so, What's-Her-Face, the ugly one. I'm gonna steal your food this time, because damn, this guy gives a crap, though. He gives a crap, and... I think I managed to somehow knock this guy. I think I dumped him down. Is what I did. Because you can't. I don't think you, rats around here. Can you carry this dude and have nobody care? That seems a little bit like maybe you couldn't to me, but I guess so. I I don't know. This seems a little risky. Like maybe they're suddenly going to decide they're not cool with this. Is this my room? Sure. Well, I haven't robbed anybody yet, but I guess you can have my room. I mean, after all, you've had a hard night standing around, getting in my way. I don't know. So, yeah, I can't rob for myself. So I guess I just either, like, maybe... Who was that? <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? Seriously? And meet Wendelin. Well... I guess that guy can be suspicious. After all, it's good to be suspicious sometimes. I don't know. It's weird, but whatever. I, I just don't care much. Uh, let's go down to the... Ugh. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes weirdly, you don't... Like, if it's an important thing... If you're thinking, I'm gonna tape feathers to my arms and jump off a cliff, then it would save your life to be... A critical thinker. But if you're watching an animated show, being critical is just going to make you realize all the flaws that you didn't see before, but there's no benefit that counterbalances it, so... Eh. I, I don't know. Sometimes I just like to appreciate things. Are you really going to apply science to a sunset? Well, maybe. But science is, is an amazing, wonderful thing, but it's not everything. Sometimes it's okay to just not apply science to a thing and just appreciate it. As controversial opinion as that is, I don't care. I mean, I've said way more controversial things recently. Anyway, pfft. You probably want to know about the item you came all this way for. You already know about the long-lost Ouroboros, since you already acquired one of them. The Serpentine's work. Yeah, I found it laying around in the old quarter. This is the one they call the Scarlet Cascabel, said to be the most valuable. But you've got competition. A gentleman thief who calls himself Nightingale was in here bragging about going after it. Nightingale, huh? That guy. Well, after clawing in with some wine, he showed me a chunk of stone tablet that appears to be genuine. I contacted you because this job requires a master thief. Hmm, interesting. Up the canyon, there's a hotel called the Blackwell. It's becoming popular with nobles trying to escape city life. It was once the ancestral home of the Blackwell family, but stood vacant for generations until the current owner, also a Blackwell, restored it and turned it into a hotel. That's where the Cascabel is supposed to be. There's a footpath from town that leads to the hotel entrance. You might be a little out of place there, so maybe you shouldn't waltz right through the front door. I'll keep that in mind. My cut of this job is I need a favor from you. There's a local moneylender named Lash who's trying to muscle in on my business. I need some information on him that I can use to get him off my back. There must be something. No one moves to this town unless they have something to hide. If you can find something, bring it here to my office. Here. I managed to swipe this key to his cellar. You don't ask for much, do you? All right, I'll see what kind of dirty little secrets our friend is keeping. Okay, 
So that's the seller key. Now, for some reason, I thought she... Well, never mind. Next time, uh, here's the objectives. Next time... Exists. I'm psychic and I can tell. Bye! We don't know where he is. Wait! Look at that guy over there.